the process, you know, I, I did the etch sketches first and then took the line work of that and, you know, did, uh, did a painting basically underneath it. Did a lot of different elements in here. I try to incorporate even my kids' stuff into each, each mural I do too. This is something, I think Robert did uh, some sort of truck. If you want to do a truck and Brian did, there's a, like it says Cleveland that I love and there's a heart over here and I think over here people are proud of their city. And so it's, it's cool to see. And I mean, even from the first etch sketches I started doing to the ones I do now, I'm, you know, I, it, it's, it's cool to, to be able to do it for the Browns. So the etch sketches take, they take about 100, 100 hours plus. So for each one, so, and then from that, the mural took a good solid, you know, week and a half to do. But we tried to just pick different guys from different eras and kind of highlighting those eras. And, you know, I have such fond memories of, you know, Metcalf running the kickoff back, you know, and um, against the Bills. And so, like, I wanted, that was the kind of stuff that I wanted to incorporate into it. And, you know, the high five and, you know, sky jamming and, you know, so stuff like that where they're not necessarily Hall of Famers, but they're Browns Hall of Famers. And then just tying in other elements of Cleveland, too, with the Terminal Tower and, you know, the, the Hope Bridge. We're Cleveland guys through and through, and our whole campaign was, from when it started, was Cleveland that I love. And I remember the first time my brother wore the shirt, and people were like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? Like, we, you know, we like Cleveland too, you know? And now it's really, it's, it's, um, it's definitely picked up, and it's cool to see the, you know, people behind Cleveland. And it's not, it doesn't get that bad rap anymore. And people always liked Cleveland, they just didn't know how to express it.